Some people call it the trouser legs. Some people call it the pants. Oh, don't call it that, please. Today is a really exciting day for me. I'm gonna go and visit some skyscrapers here and some jaw breakers. Stuff like the CCTV building. I've been waiting like 10 years to visit this building. I, I can't wait. So don't miss the end of the video where we'll find out why CCTV building is shaped the way it is. And stuff like this behind me, the bird's nest. Okay, let's go and have a look at that first. The Beijing Olympic Stadium wasn't originally intended to be a bird's nest design. The concept came from a, a bowl or a plate in Beijing. It didn't come from a bird's nest. The design team was originally influenced by the study of Chinese ceramics and cracked pottery shapes and forms. Then when an artist saw an early design proposal, he quickly drew a bird in a tree and gave inspiration for a bird's nest. Which became the concept everyone is familiar with. So the facade structure and roof are all in one and to keep the building waterproof they have a translucent membrane at the top for the roof of the facilities and the rooms. It took five years for construction and opened for the 2008 Olympics. It's going to be used in the 2022 Winter Olympics. This would be practically impossible to build without computers. Check out those little garden lights here. Now on to the aquatic center, which houses an Olympic swimming pool. For the design concept, the Chinese felt a square, more traditional shape would complement the bird's nest more than a round shape. In Chinese culture, the cube symbolizes earth and the circle symbolizes heaven. That's the relationship between the bird's nest and the aquatic centre. And the bubble concept on the facade symbolises the water bubbles from the swimming pool inside. The futuristic material is known as ETFE. Don't ask me what that stands for, just say it's a type of plastic, OK? This plastic material is superior in translucency, strength, fire resistance and is self-cleaning by the rain. So this thing is even more spectacular at night. But unfortunately, I can't stick around here that long. Considering there's no sporting events on, there's a lot of people come to this Olympic Park to look at these buildings. It still attracts a lot of visitors. Okay, off to CCTV now. Oh, I'm really excited. And on the way, I came across this. As you can see, they're still constructing this one. Okay, this monster behind me is nicknamed the China Zun. Zun comes from Sun, an ancient Chinese wine vessel which inspired the building. See it's shaped in the middle, it curves in. In China, the Zun wine vessel represents communal goodwill. It's a simple idea and a good example of an effective symbol used as an architecture concept. 524 meters. The tower remained the tallest in Beijing for a long time. Now finally on to CCTV. China Central Television Station, headquarters. This amazing design concept goes against the typical skyscraper and instead of going high, it has two towers leaning against each other with a 75 meter cantilever. So I think it's around 200 meters in height. So that's easily a skyscraper. 100 meters is just a skyscraper. There are all sorts of rumors where the structural shape came from. One Chinese critic said it came from a pornographic image of a lady on her hands and knees. Of course, officially this was denied. It's more likely the concept evolved from a pyramid which is cut out of areas related to the surroundings. If you look at it from this angle, it's kind of weird, eh? <laughs> 
The structure for CCTV building is visible from the outside. You can see the web of diagonals which become more dense at areas that require greater structural resistance and stress. This is what it looks like at night. It was said that the building concept and shape could never have been designed by the Chinese. But then again, no one else but the Chinese would or could have built it. Designed by Rem Koolhaas and his mates. I think it was the biggest building they had at the time. The TV company used to be scattered all over the city. This building brought the departments and TV broadcasting process together. So inside it's got TV studios, offices, production and broadcasting facilities. Unfortunately, I don't think I can go inside. 